we'll let SVP and uh, John sort out exactly what type of trousers Schwerth is wearing. <laughs> All right, so now here you go, Arizona State. You've got a quarterback with not a lot of experience. He's got to be, he's got to be, he has to understand the game, Jesse, that, that they're only down three, don't force anything. What he does understand is on the last touchdown inside the red zone, he took advantage of a wide receiver that was six foot four. He's got two of them out on the field right now. He can use that height to his advantage. And remember, they're already in field goal range for Weber. Most kickers are, but he's extraordinary. Osweiler right down the middle. He had middle Brooks and he couldn't quite connect. Jake Fisher might have gotten a hand on it for the Cats. And I think it's going to be very important, just like we saw in that pass rush right there, that the Arizona defensive line stay in their gaps. You see Arizona's got middle linebacker Jake Fisher, number 33, on the field. He got the start tonight because of his speed in these nickel packages to match up with running backs and wide receivers. I think it's Osweiler he's matching up with. Osweiler feeling some heat from behind. He got rid of it to Marshall. Cameron's just going to have a short game. Vasalo was the first to hit it. We spoke with Vasalo yesterday. What a nice young man. You know what I mean? It's, this means so much to these, these players, this but, game. And he's a junior college transfer, so this is actually his first territorial cup he's ever played in. He said students were coming up to him in the class this week saying, hey, don't worry about that Oregon loss last week. Let's get ready for the territorial cup. That loss, how about the previous three? <laughs> Third down and six. Osweiler. Straight ahead, and he's sacked. Now fourth down and Weber will trot out trying to tie the game and push it to a second overtime. That's what I was talking about though. Understanding the situation, not forcing a ball down the field and turning it over. They tried running that triple slant play again. That's been open a couple times tonight. Again, they had Kerry Taylor wide open. Osweiler not able to get out that far left. This one officially is 40. It's just outside the 30 yard line. He's four for four tonight. Weber for the tie. We're going to double overtime. And for good measure, Weber ties a school record with his fifth made field goal tonight. The Sun Devils have needed every one of them. 23-23. Play on, gentlemen.